rehearsals are in full swing at St. Malachy's Roman Catholic Church in the theater district. But this youth choir isn't just preparing for Sunday Mass. These singers are also fine-tuning their voices for the Pope. I think it's really special to sing in front of the Pope and because, you know, not everyone gets to do this. The Cathedral of St. Patrick Young Singers will lift their voices for Pope Benedict XVI when the pontiff meets a small group of children with disabilities at St. Joseph's Seminary in Yonkers. I'm very proud that I'll be able to do that, but I'm kind of nervous also. I mean, you'd be nervous too if that was happening. <laughs> Especially with my voice. <laughs> With Edward Cardinal Egan's blessing, Father Richard Baker, the pastor of St. Malachy's, founded the choir in 2005. This choir is being built in the tradition of the main major choirs that you find in major cathedrals throughout the world, like at the Vatican, where there is a choir that exists for the Basilica of St. Peter's, but there's also a choir that exists personally for the Pope in his own private chapel. It's in that same tradition of being on that very high level of quality and of, uh, of particular service not only to a, a, a particular church, but, or the, the diocese, but also to the actual archbishop too. The choir sings liturgical music once a month at St. Patrick's Cathedral and once a month at St. Malachy's. Students from all faiths can participate. This is a serious choir that holds competitive auditions and charges a tuition for a curriculum that includes choral training and lessons in music theory and piano. The Vatican approved the choir's choice to sing Cristo Resurgenti. The 18th century piece by a French composer means Christ is risen in Latin. great triumphant um, message certainly uh, and I think having uh, voices of children singing uh, a piece on that theme is a very powerful thing especially when the Holy Father is present. In the theater district, Shazia Khan, New York One.